Hey, this is Jits from 2002, and welcome back again to Banished News of the Red Ketchup Editor's Choice and some Discrepancy DS mods. Now, in the last episode, we did get some more homes done. We got a nice little row, multicolored row homes here. Uh, brought to you by Red Ketchup. Um, I haven't quite used any of the DS mods. Not ready for it yet. Still going through some of them. Uh, but, however, we can actually just keep on going over here because we also did accomplish in the last few episodes. We have some crop fields over here. We actually have some bread production over here, which is, which is amazing. In fact, uh, also I did realize I might have placed that in the wrong spot because if I wanted to put a city road here, well, I kind of screwed myself over on that one. Eh, it is what it is. Kinda. One, two. Yep, screw myself over. <laughs> well, I mean, we can just have normal roads here, I guess. Well, or we can move it later on in the future. We have so many damn trees, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on in this section. Um, yeah, well, it is, it is what it is. Like I just said. Uh, wow, actually, 672 bread last season? That's quite amazing. All right, food variety is, uh, is doing really well, isn't it? Now, I know we were having some problems with actually growing the city a little bit because we were having quite a death wave. And, well, it seems like everything is... I guess it's going smoothly. Sort of. Maybe. What is going on over here? One farmer with two children. Hmm. Yeah. Single parent? Apparently. Same thing over here, I guess. Yeah, oh, alright, okay, so... We do have some extra stone. I know I had them actually build some stuff over here. And they're not quite done that. In fact, how many builders do we have? Two. Two builders, four laborers now. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, we could... We could possibly get some things done. It's early summer, though. So I believe we're gonna wait for a harvest. But we may be able to start getting some pastures in. Probably over here. Maybe. I mean, it's not a priority right now. I know we did get this over here because we are going to be getting set up for, I believe, uh, what is it? Silver and gold. We need silver and gold bars. And we also need this random quarry. So you know what? Let's go ahead and open up this random quarry over here and get that done. We do need that. Let's, while they're doing that, let's take a look here. 46 homes, 47 families. 98% uh, is closed. Apparently it's not 100% anymore. Wonder why that is. 99. I guess someone forgot to pick up some clothes. Yeah. Alright. Graphs. Food. It's basically the one I look at the most. Because we did fix the charcoal issue. So fuel is doing fine. In fact, I believe that's going to be in firewood. Yeah. Yeah. We totally did. And in fact, how many years was that ago? We did in the last five years. So maybe three. Three and a half years ago. Well. We got it solved. So that's good. Population. And citizens. Oh, oh, it actually shows clothed? Oh, crap. Well, we're getting pretty close to full happiness around here. And education and everything else. Firewood, minerals, um, stone is kind of uh, stagnating. I know that. We do have a quarry. Clothing. Clothing production has dropped? Why has that dropped? Make hide coats out of linen. And you're making cloth. Oh, for the love of God! I never switched it over. <laughs> oh, that explains everything. That might explain why there's a few people around here who don't have clothes. Alright, well, okay. That's fixed. And... Uh, honestly, I want to start getting these roads done. We need more stone, so we... Hmm. Kind of is what it is. I mean, food, we're doing okay. We actually have these extra plots over here. Um, these crop fields. Not to mention we have an orchard over here. Both of these orchards are doing really well. 
Ooh, you know what I didn't check? I know we're not going to be able to trade food anyway. Um, but copper... Oh, you know what? We really do need one quarry to actually mine some copper around here. And can we actually do it from here? We can. We could sacrifice one person to get some copper in there. Oh, it's not open. Duh. I guess that would help. Uh, yeah. Okay. You'll be fine. Eventually. Are you doing work? Yes, you are. And that is very close to the edge, isn't it? Ooh. We have a fishing dock over here. Now, there's a road over here, isn't there? Oh my god, there's so many damn trees, I can't see anything. So much has grown up. Okay, so basically, I want to start getting these roads in. Um, I believe... Well, see, the thing is, I do want to get these homes built, but we are just, uh... The... For the love of God, we need some nomads! It's just like, hello, can we have some immigrants, please? And is everything actually un... like, is there an option here? I could have sworn in the past I saw an option to actually allow or disallow nomads from coming in, but I'm not entirely sure if that was actually, say, the Colonial Charter or Mega Mod, or in the actual game itself, because I do not think so. Because I haven't seen it in the Red Ketchup Mod, so... Kinda is what it is. Look at everybody. Just wandering around. I want to get this official! I want my stone roads, for the love of God. Uh, how can I rush them to get the stone roads? We have one laborer. Ooh, not good. Not good. Schools. 22 students in there. Zero in here. Really? Wait, 22 in here? My God. Ooh, okay, so we can't actually close that other school if we wanted to. Ooh, I have an idea! What if we start moving people out of here? <laughs> and start using this area for production of something. It's an idea. It's an idea. Probably not what I'm going to do anytime soon, but it's always something we can do. Um, yeah, this could be some time before we can get enough resources. I mean, well, well, you know what? What were we doing over here? We were planning things out over here, weren't we? And we do have some builders. We could go ahead and actually start getting some of these roads at least placed. Oh, you know what? That needs to be flattened out before I do that. Oh yeah, that definitely does. Can we do that real quick? Oh, crap. Alright, well, we'll do this. We'll flatten like a little area at a time then. Okay. Let's check out you. Cranberry seeds. Now, is that something for an orchard? It would give more food variety. We could actually use cranberries. I mean, we could go for anything at this point. The question I have is, since we're trading... Let's see, need 700 and 700 divided by 8. 645? I don't know. Uh, no? Oh! <laughs> Okay, I really have my math entirely wrong here. Huh? Okay, 700. <laughs> How much? Oh, no, 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 no. It's 8. And I put 100. So 90. Overpaid by 20. Ooh, pretty close. Okay. Alright, let's get some cranberry seeds then. Alright. It's quite the expense, I will admit. But, you know what? Cranberry seeds it is. We could actually add one more orchard somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we could put an orchard over here. We totally could do that. We actually have some laborers around, so... Hmm. I mean, or we could replace one of these with an orchard. That's always a concept, isn't it? Although I quite like these large orchards here. Ooh, how is the storage over here? Not that great, because they're going to be walking somewhere else. I'm going to put a pasture area back there. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and... And you know what? Let's go ahead and put... 
should be nearby. We could go ahead and probably put ourselves an orchard here. Kind of diversify this entire area. Diversity is key. Oh wow, can we act we can actually do this? Yeah, let's get an orchard in there then. And possibly uh, we could possibly get another one out here too. Now I know I was talking about having this entire area. Ooh, kit. Fourteen by ten. We could do a smaller area. Oh no, you know what? Let's let's just wait on that because we do want to make this entire area over here a little bit more industrious. And uh, perhaps actually put some homes here. Because we do have a market here. So it would actually be able to cover. Is that radius covers this entire area. So I was actually thinking about putting some of those row homes. Or at least some of those little houses. And actually have some people living over here. Since I'm going with the city theme, I'm thinking about putting more of those row houses around. And, uh, well, I mean, we could actually do something like this. It doesn't look too bad. And I did actually have them clear this entire area out and flatten it out. Which is the reason why I'm kind of doing this. It's late autumn, right? How are the crops? Are they harvested? Ooh, except for that one. That one has one farmer in it, that's right. I believe. It's not supposed to have one, but apparently it does. We can put a road here. We're going to wait for them to get that done. We are going to put a road this way. So we know what's going on. And finalize a road this way. I think I got... No, I do not have a road here. Yeah, okay. That works. So then that means we can go ahead and... Uh, let's double check here. 49 families. I believe we can open up one more house then. Oh, we'll just open one. We do have seven laborers now, so I think we should actually start really getting on with growing the population. And we do have plenty of uh, school space, so that's good. Over here, how are you doing over here? Not quite done. I don't have a stockpile nearby, do I? Hmm. You know what? Where are they going with all that crap? Here? Or over here? Oh, that's not good. Um... Is there some way- you know what? I'm beginning to think maybe we should- Let's go ahead and put a stockpile here. Let's put a normal stockpile because we do need it. And we can't- we can't- what? what? It's too large. Oh, oh, okay. We can't do it there. Is there a glitch there? How did I do this? How did I fix the glitch? Did I do this? Is that what I did? Is that how I fixed it? Because sometimes you can't fix it. Sometimes you can't. Ah, okay. Totally fixed it. Okay, we're going to put two stockpiles here. Because I say so. And let's get a road over here. Because we're going to get something like this going. And make a second pier. I'm thinking we're just going to put some farms, maybe a couple homes, but I'm thinking maybe some homes over here. Not entirely sure. This is far away, though. Uh, we may actually just extend this out this way to the lighthouse. And can we actually build the lighthouse? Because it's copper bars we need, right? Oh, the, the quarry's done. The random quarry is done. Ooh. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get somebody in here, then. Stone limit. Ooh, there's a stone limit. No, 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 no. We don't want a stone limit at all. Minerals limit. We're gonna increase that to 10,000, even though we have, what, like 50... Less than 60. But, just in case, I kind of lose track. And, um... See, the random minerals, I think... I think... Um... Okay, you know what? Because I want to do this... Oh, it's off-put. Oh, no. No wonder it's in the wrong spot. Oh, the hell with it. We're not going to put a city room there anyway. Okay, we're just going to deal with this then. Oh, you know what? Screw you. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Remove road. My bad. 
Wait. Okay. Oh my god, that took me forever. Um, where, 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 where? Okay, I wanted to do something like this. A nice little design like this. With like a little two road in between. And it's a little bit uneven. But you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. My OCD can just deal with it right now because we will just... We will decorate or put storage nearby. Who cares? Uh, because it's really not that big of an issue since it's at the edge of the river anyway. And uh, I bet I am the only one bothered by this. <laughs> uh, okay, regular storages. I want one that's going to... Okay, so copper bars. No, we want minerals. Yes, minerals. So we want something like this. And we can actually make a bigger one on this side now. Now that we have the space. And, uh, I'm wondering if we could just put a regular stockpile on this side then? No, we're gonna put a little road there just for decoration. Like this. Beautiful. But did I end up doing that here? Oh, no, no, you know what? I'm gonna do this then. For the sake of just having things looking better around here. In fact, this is not even built yet, but I'm going to do the same thing all the way over, over here. I think that should keep the builders busy for quite a long time. Oh, the orchard. You are done. Hmm. Cranberries. Okay, they are in here. Grand. Um, that means we will we'll add 25 farmers. I think we're a little off, though. No, actually, we're not. Maybe, maybe the reason why we're having a problem with these beans being harvested late in the season is probably because of storage. That's probably the biggest issue we have. Oh, good. Oh, all right. Let's open another house then. I, I forgot about that. We need to grow the population so everything is necessary around here. And let's go over here. Oh, yes, yeah, see? Yeah, we definitely needed it. Um, we have this area flattened out. So... No, 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 let's remove it. Odds are, everything's gonna start growing in this area. And we do have something here, so you know what? We can actually go ahead and start building this then. We can build a nice road here. Up to where we're at. Start building roads this way. And this. And, uh, is that, oh, we don't have a road here. Okay, that's why it looks weird. Okay, basically setting this side up. I mean, we're not going to use it yet, so whatever. I mean, there, there are plenty of projects we can get done, and that's the whole point. That's, that can actually work? No, 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 no. Because I actually want to put, like, a graveyard over here. In fact... In fact, I, what I wanted to do is have the church here, have like a park area around it, and then kind of have a graveyard behind it. So I wanted to use red ketchup mud and actually get a graveyard, a cemetery in here. And I, I could make a custom one. Oh, but I like the metallic fence one. Oh, there's... Ooh. This is a metal fence one. Okay, let's see if we can do this. We're gonna have it over here. We're gonna have a city road. And so, if we have it, say, like this. So we have it by 19. And we actually just do this. And have, say, a city... Oh, wait. How, long, how big can we get this? So it's 19. We can get a nice, big... How many tiles do we want? That's the... Okay, so that's the back of the church. So I'm thinking... Something like this. I do it 19 by... 18? 19 by 19? And put a road there. No, let's do it like this. Oh! Crap! You know what I did not think about is is the is where the actual fence is going to be 
And good. We actually have somebody actually move it out proper ages. Kinda sorta. Um, okay, so let's do this then. Ah, okay, I see it. Barely. I can barely see it. Okay, so it's gonna be 19 by 18. Boy, that's really hard to figure out. 19 by 18. Okay, good. And that should do for clearing that area out. And we already have trees growing here. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to clear this out. Uh, did that house already? Yeah, that was the house we just built, wasn't it? 48 out of 48. Yeah, let's uh, let's not do that. However, we should probably keep this here so nothing grows, except this area. We should go ahead and do that, and put a nice little little road here. What do you think? Finish that area off. Oh, I never checked the food. For the last year, I want to see. Okay, we're still we're still doing okay. Ten. You were okay. Good. Food production still going strong. Um, it should be really strong once we get this orchard in. And I know we have a lot of roads in here, so I I do apologize, but uh, I mean, I guess we can do that for now. Just want to make sure there's plenty of pathing around. And how are we doing here? Okay, we got three copper ore and 28 wheat. Okay. And four coal. Right, it is random. Um, so, kind of is what it is. Although, the, the coal could come in handy. Okay, we have a copper quarry here. We got some copper. So, I mean copper bars here. I am wondering if we can actually start the production of the lighthouse. Just for the sake of actually building it. Stone, iron, and copper. Ooh, see, the thing is, look how much stone that's going to require. And iron, we have that. Copper, we have the glass, I know that, and firewood. And lumber, we definitely have. Speaking of lumber, how much lumber do we actually have? 2200! Holy crap! We could trade that. We're gonna start out with 200 though. Um, since we're trading carbon tools and copper. I don't know if uh, copper is really the best thing to trade with, but look, we have extra co lumber here. And how much does that trade for? Okay, at least that gives me something. But, uh,. It's quite a lot of lumber, isn't it? We did actually fix the log process, didn't we? Because... Oh, you know what it is? We have extra logs because we're taking trees down left and right. Never mind. Oh, we do have the extra forester in here, don't we? It just has one person in there. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Because we have five laborers and really we're just kind of sneaking by. Sneaking by with the growth. Got the, the biggest advantage here. There's a deer there. Interesting. I do like this. Um, I don't know. I think we're doing okay. Um, I feel like this episode kind of uh, kind of went really quick, didn't it? But you know what? We got some things done. We got some areas cleared over here. So hopefully we'll get this area over here. We'll get that cemetery in. Um, and then clear this, but I think I'm going to start clearing these out during the winter. So, right now we do not have the laborers for that. Well, actually, come to think of it. No, they're working on the cemetery. Let's not bother. Yeah, anyway. Um, a little bit of progress. I mean, we have the orchard here. We have a, a random quarry. We got some more copper ore coming in, and hopefully we'll get something else. We got salt. Hmm, okay, well, you know. It's better than nothing, to be honest. And really, well, we're on our way to basically growing the city a little bit more. And, uh, well, that's, it is what it is. So, 
I am going to leave this episode right here. So if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and hit that like button below. Feel free to judge me in the comments, let me know what you think, and if you're new, feel free to also subscribe to the channel for more episodes of Banished, using the Red Ketchup Editor's Choice, and some discrepancy DS mods. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, peace!